your garden, a serene haven, or a battleground in disguise. Discover what lurks beneath its beauty and how to reclaim peace from the tiny invaders turning your garden dreams into nightmares. Picture it. The sun rises, casting a golden glow over your lush garden. It's a picture of tranquility. But as the day unfolds, a hidden battle rages. Tiny invaders are at work, turning your garden paradise into their feeding ground. They're stealthy, they're voracious, and they're a lot more common than you might think. Aphids, caterpillars, snails, these are just a few of the culprits that could be munching away at your plants right now. But fear not, for every problem, there is a solution. In this ultimate guide, we delve deep into the hidden world of garden pests. We'll help you identify these unwelcome guests and arm you with the most effective strategies to control them. Let's reclaim your garden from these tiny invaders, shall we? Aphids, small yet mighty, can overrun your garden. These tiny, soft-bodied insects are known for their destructive appetites, feasting on the sap of your beloved plants. With pear-shaped bodies and long antennae, aphids come in a variety of colors, from green to black, yellow, red, or even white. They can be found in clusters, mainly on the undersides of leaves or stems, where they suck out the vital nutrients, causing the leaves to curl, yellow, and eventually drop. Not only do they damage the plant physically, but aphids also excrete a sticky substance known as honeydew, which can lead to the growth of sooty mold, another threat to your plants. But fear not, dear gardeners, this battle is not lost. There are numerous ways to control these pests and save your garden. One of the most effective methods is the introduction of natural predators. Yes, you heard that right. In the world of gardening, not all bugs are foes. Some, like the mighty ladybug, are our allies. These brightly colored beetles have an insatiable appetite for aphids. A single ladybug can consume dozens of aphids a day, making them a potent weapon in our arsenal. To attract ladybugs, consider planting flowers like marigolds or daisies, which they find irresistible. Another control method is spraying your plants with a mixture of water and mild dish soap. The soap suffocates the aphids without harming your plants. However, use this method sparingly, as overuse can potentially damage your plants. For a more hands-on approach, you can physically remove the aphids from your plants. Using a soft cloth or a sponge, gently wipe the leaves and stems, taking care not to damage your plants in the process. Remember, early detection is key in controlling any pest infestation. Regularly check your plants for signs of aphids or any other pests. So, there you have it. Aphids might be small, but they pose a big threat to your garden. But with the right knowledge and action, you can safeguard your green sanctuary. Discover how introducing ladybugs can turn the tide in your favor. Next on the list of unwelcome guests, slugs and snails. These slimy creatures, while fascinating in their own right, are not exactly the guests you want to invite to your garden party. They're like that distant relative who overstays their welcome, nibbling away at your precious plants and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Slugs and snails are notorious for their insatiable appetite for greenery. They have a particular fondness for young, tender plants and can cause significant damage if left unchecked. But don't mistake their slow pace for laziness. These creatures are diligent in their destruction, silently feasting under the cover of darkness. So how do you spot the signs of these nocturnal nuisances? Well, besides the obvious slimy trails they leave behind, you might notice irregular, ragged holes in the leaves and stems of your plants. This is a telltale sign that slugs or snails have taken up residence in your garden. But fear not, for every garden pest, there's a natural predator waiting in the wings. Enter the humble hedgehog and the song thrush, two of nature's slug and snail busters. These creatures feast on slugs and snails, helping to keep their populations in check. Encouraging these natural predators into your garden can be a big help in your battle against these slimy invaders. Now let's talk tactics. One of the most effective natural deterrents for slugs and snails is something you probably have in your kitchen right now. Coffee grounds. Yes, you heard right. Sprinkling coffee grounds around your plants creates a barrier that slugs and snails are reluctant to cross. The caffeine in the coffee is toxic to them and the coarse texture of the grounds is uncomfortable for their soft bodies to crawl over. So next time you're enjoying a cup of joe, think twice before throwing those grounds away. 
They could be your secret weapon in the fight against slugs and snails. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the habits and weaknesses of these garden pests, you can protect your plants and keep your garden thriving. With simple tricks like coffee grounds, you can deter these slimy invaders. Caterpillars and Japanese beetles, the leaf munchers of your garden. It's time to shine a spotlight on these voracious eaters that can turn a lush green landscape into a skeleton in no time. First, let's talk about caterpillars. These seemingly innocent creatures metamorphose into beautiful butterflies or moths, but not before they have had their fill of your garden leaves. Their damage is easy to spot. You'll find holes in the middle of leaves or entire leaves eaten down to the stem. But fear not. Nature has equipped us with allies in this battle. Birds in particular are great caterpillar hunters. Providing bird feeders and bird baths in your garden can attract these feathered friends who will happily snack on these leaf munchers. Next up, Japanese beetles. These shiny metallic bugs are not as innocent as they look. They can defoliate a plant faster than you can say beetle. The damage is distinctive, with leaves reduced to a lace-like skeleton. But here's the good news. These beetles have a natural predator too, the tachinid fly. This beneficial insect lays its eggs on the beetle. When the eggs hatch, they feed on the beetle, eventually causing its demise. So, how can we invite these natural predators into our gardens? The answer is companion planting. This gardening strategy involves planting certain plants together for mutual benefit. For example, planting garlic or rue near roses or raspberries can deter Japanese beetles, while dill and parsley attract the tachinid fly. For caterpillars, try planting dill, fennel or parsley to attract wasps and spiders that are known to keep caterpillar populations in check. And don't forget to provide plenty of nectar plants to feed these beneficial insects. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate these pests completely, but to find a balance where their numbers are kept in check by their natural predators. This is the beauty of organic gardening. It's not just about growing plants, but about cultivating an entire ecosystem that's self-sustaining. Companion planting can keep these leaf munchers at bay and protect your garden. It's nature's way of saying, we've got this under control. With the right knowledge and tools, your garden can be a flourishing oasis free from the ravages of pests. Imagine standing in the heart of your garden, surrounded by lush foliage and vibrant blooms, without a single sign of pest damage. This isn't just a dream, but a reality within your reach. Pest-free gardens aren't merely about aesthetics, but also about the health and productivity of your plants. When pests are controlled, plants can focus on growth and fruiting, leading to bountiful harvests of vegetables, fruits and flowers. It's a joy to watch your garden thrive, knowing your hard work and dedication have paid off. But a pest-free garden isn't about waging war against all insects. No, it's about balance. Many insects play vital roles in our gardens. From the humble bee pollinating our flowers to the industrious worm improving our soil, these garden allies are essential. They're part of the beautiful, complex web of life that makes a garden more than just a collection of plants. So how do we achieve this balance? by embracing natural, sustainable gardening practices. This means using homemade remedies and eco-friendly pesticides, introducing natural predators, and employing strategies such as companion planting. It's about working with nature, not against it. Gardening is an ongoing journey of learning and discovery. There will be challenges, but each one presents an opportunity to grow, not just as a gardener, but also as a steward of the environment. It's about understanding the intricate relationships between plants, insects, and the environment, and using this knowledge to create a healthy, thriving garden. When you step into your garden, you're not just a gardener, but a caretaker. You're part of a global community of individuals who understand the value of green spaces and the need to protect them. Your garden is a testament to your commitment to this cause, a small but significant contribution to the preservation of our planet. So. Let's continue this journey together. Let's learn, grow, and create beautiful pest-free gardens that not only enhance our own lives, but also contribute to a healthier, more sustainable world. Join us in embracing sustainable gardening practices that safeguard the environment and our precious green spaces. Now that you're equipped with the knowledge to identify and control common garden pests, it's time to put these strategies into action. In the process, 
you're not just safeguarding your garden, but also contributing to a healthier environment by embracing organic gardening practices. Remember, every gardener, novice or experienced has the power to transform their green spaces into flourishing oases, offering sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of daily life. But the journey doesn't stop here. There are countless more tips and tricks to discover, more pests to identify and control, and a whole world of gardening wisdom to explore. And you don't have to do it alone. Subscribe to this channel and join a vibrant community of gardeners. We're here to share our experiences, learn from each other, and grow together. Share your victories, however small they may seem. Your successes could inspire someone else in their gardening journey. Stay tuned for more gardening tips and tricks and share your garden success stories in the comments below. Happy gardening!